While the state's hepatitis A numbers have dropped over the past six months, the health department does not want anyone to think that this epidemic is over. So today, they set up a vaccination shop inside a place where people are more likely to transmit the virus. Michael Burke has more. It's the LEX 18 Big Story at 530. The state's Hep A numbers have come way down since their peak, and vaccinations are the main reason for the improvement. And that's why the state's health department continues to administer those, especially here in jails and detention centers. They're inside the Fayette County Detention Center for different reasons. Some are serving long sentences. Some might be scheduled for release soon. Others could simply be here waiting for the judicial system to play out. But they all share one thing in common. They all said yes to the hepatitis A vaccine as the state continues to drive home their importance. Last uh, summer, the uh, requirement went into effect for uh, the uh, school-aged children, children going to daycare and schools, and um, so that is something that's helped uh, get more children vaccinated. Adults don't have that requirement. Today, LEX 18 got a rare look inside the detention center as adults here voluntarily got themselves protected from a virus which so far has claimed the lives of 58 Kentuckians since its onset two years ago. They are very appreciative. Uh, the majority of the people will take it. Some people ask questions. Very few uh, refuse the vaccine. Thank you. The Hep A vaccination program is a series of two shots separated by at least six months. Could be longer than that, but no shorter. And they do give you a lifetime of immunity. In Lexington, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. At the end of last month, the state had more than 4,700 confirmed Hep A cases since 2017, but saw a sharp decline in new cases in February.